Channel 8 Eyewitness News at 5. There were times when they bought used vehicles to try and kind of band-aid the fleet together, but this is the first new one since 1996. Good news for Lincoln Fire and Rescue. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. They got their first brand new fire truck in 20 years. Yeah, and they say it was a long time in coming. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Abigail Wood joins us now with more in our top story this evening. Abigail. Well, LFR says they're thankful for the new vehicle and hope it's a sign of more replacements in the future. The whole neighborhood turned out to welcome Station 7's new fire truck at Cotner and A Wednesday, following tradition by dousing it with water, then pushing it into the firehouse. It was really fun, and my favorite part was getting to push it. The big turnout was a sign of how much the stations meant to the community. Well, they had a birthday, my birthday party here at the fire station. And then um, they gave me a hat, the challenge coin, a real fire helmet. The consensus was that the new fire truck was a long time coming. The, the older fleet, it's, it's, it, it's challenging. Um, we just can't pinpoint when or what's going to break down. Just last week, truck five broke down with no replacement available. Many times per month, some of our fire apparatus won't start or it doesn't make it to the call. It breaks down in the, uh, on the way. The new truck is replacing one that's 21 years old. Many trucks are so old, it's hard to find parts to fix them when they break down. LFR says having even one truck out of service is a danger to the community. We get into situations where um, we don't have a piece of equipment for them to use, but there's potential for life and death there. This truck cost $770,000. It was purchased with the help of a federal grant and some leftover funds from last year. The department's getting another truck in August and three new engines, which pump water at fires in September. Just to give you some perspective, LFR needed around 19 out of 22 vehicles replaced. The five new ones will bring that number down to 14. Wow, so they still have some replacements to go, but at least this is a start. Thank you, Abigail, for our top story.